everyone and welcome to today's video, my annual back to school stationery haul kindly presented by Stationery Pal. You can use the code EMILYSTUDYING for a cool discount and I'll also be showing you a bunch of other cool items so let's get into the video. First up we have some A5 bullet journals. I needed some new journals to diary in and journal so these ones were absolutely perfect. They're just dotted grid, pretty simple. Next here we have gold paper clips. I really love these for wrapping wires around them. They're just really efficient and you can also put paper in them. Here we have some stamp washi tape. I thought this looked really cool and they're just like fake stamps but they're like stickers basically. Here we have some assorted sticky notes and memo pads. They're perfect for tabbing a certain page. Next we got the stick aisle. I have been eyeing this for about three years and I finally got it but it's just portable scissors that like fold into a nice shape so you don't get that irregular scissor shape that doesn't fit anywhere. Next we have just a simple airpods case. I thought it was funny. It's like Fiji water in your airpods. Here we have some Pentel pens. First up, we have these Hibaya Kaden. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they're just these super smooth ballpoint pens in a really nice body with some really cool Japanese art. Here we have the Pentel Juice. These are somewhere in my top gel pens. They come with a bunch of different colors. This is just a five pack though. I got it for my friend. They come with really vibrant and saturated colors, yet the pen is still pretty smooth. And of course I had to get these Zebra Modliner highlighters, which come in this Disney pack. So it has like, Winnie the Pooh and like a bunch of other designs and characters. As you may know, it comes with a chisel tip, which is for more broad highlighting and then a thin tip for more underlining. I also get asked a ton if the mod liner is bleed. In my experience, they don't really, but I tend to use thicker paper. Here we have a bunch of assorted pens. So first, are these zebra pens that come in like animal shapes. I thought these were really nice. I really love this body. It's like my new favorite pen right now. And then we have the Pentel Energel Kawaii Gel Pen. They're all the same pen, they just have a different design on the outside, but those have got to be the best blue gel pen I have ever experienced. They are super smooth. They don't come in different colors, only blue though, but if you really want the best, like darkest, most vibrant blue, these Pentel Energels are top tier. And next we got the Zebra Modliner brush pens. They finally came out with 10 new colors, so they have the entire 25 set. I personally enjoy these brush pens a lot, mainly because they're so easy to use and you can get a really thick and thin stroke, which makes good calligraphy in that sense. If you're looking to start calligraphy, I really like these ones mainly because the tip is so flexible. Plus it also has a thinner tip on the end and I like to use that to like fix little mistakes in the lettering. Plus it comes with 25 vibrant colors, so I definitely recommend these. And they tend to last long, the brush doesn't fray out or anything like that. Okay, next up we have the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. These were my first brush pens I ever got. They are super easy to use, like the Mild Liner. However, they have like a thicker tip and they have a lot more colors, like over a hundred of them. I find this one just allows you to make deeper strokes, but these ones tend to be a bit more expensive and they're more for like art purposes. But I still recommend them and these ones are a muted secondary palette so the colors are a bit darker. I find they're a bit more multi-purposeful because you don't have like the bright neon colors shining at your face. Okay, so right here we got some stickers and this fancy envelope. I think I'll send my friend a letter or like a birthday card in it. Here are stationary pals assorted sticker sheets. They come in a bunch of different styles. They come out with new designs all the time. These ones are super cute and versatile. I like using these in my journal. And right here we have this gold ruler. I got one last time, but I kind of broke it. So we got a new one because I like it so much. Here we have some A5 notebooks. This is a Kakuyo campus, the one I've been using to swatch all the items and then a Harry Potter one because I thought it looked pretty nice. Okay, next we have this pencil case. It's like a boxed pencil case and you can fit tons of items. It's not like tight and restrictive. So you can put lots of pens in there in different layers and they have tons of pockets as seen right here. And then last in this box is just some assorted erasers and freebies. 
In the next part of the haul, I got some stickers from my friend's Etsy shop. They're super cute animals and like food designs. I really like them. They're glossy stickers, so I was planning on sticking them on a water bottle or your computer if you want. And last up, we have some items from Muji. Muji sent these to me as part of their back to school campaign. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. Everything came inside this super simple black backpack. I might use it if I go back to in-person classes and I'm not going to in-person classes this semester. But anyway, we have some B5 notebooks. I really like these for doing homework. It's just good for writing and the paper's super smooth. Here we have some cap gel pens. These are 0.5 millimeters in nine different colors. Just really simple, but high quality gel pens. Next here is a two pack of cotton masks. And then we have this pencil case with a bunch of assorted items. It's a nylon mesh pencil case and you can fit a bunch of different items in here. First up is some simple washi tape in like a blue design, some sticky notes, some sticky tabs for like writing down and like marking certain pages, really simple. And then we got some highlighters that are like clicky, but they have a special design so they don't dry out though. They come in really vibrant neon colors. And then here we have a three colored retractable ballpoint pen and then some washi tape to end things off. These are like a blue geometric theme. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you later. Bye-bye.